All my thoughts are running Running round inside my head Emotions keep coming They're keeping me from thinking straight Thought it would be different When I got my things in place Stuck in this commotion How come I ain't past this yet? I wanna me to be somebody else Another me that doesn't need your help But if I'm honest I don't think we got it Try to change the things you never like Try to make this better, make this right But we're the same Even though I changed Really made an effort, promised I would change But something stayed the same Wanted to do better, wanted to be great But something stayed the same Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. If you've been been here, thank you so much for being a day one. And if you're watching from outside of the club, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, guys. Welcome to my first ever makeup therapy video. Um, guys, I'm not going to be talking about what I'm doing in this video. We're going to have a whole separate conversation. And I'm going to list all the products that I used in this video in the description handle. So you don't need to worry about that. And if I don't, if I miss anything, please just comment and I'll I'll just answer you accordingly. So yeah, guys, um, I'm just going to do an updated get to know me. Um, I'm so rude. I didn't even ask you guys what you wanted to hear. But like you guys will tell me and I'll still answer them in the future. Um, I'm just updating it from the first one I did. Like the first get to know me video was actually my first video on YouTube. And guys, I was looking at it and I was like, wow, how have I grown? Like, who's this girl? Are you, who's this girl you guys, you guys are watching now? Like... When I started this channel, I didn't think I would be this, the woman that I am today, guys. You're, guys, God will find you where you are and he will take you to places that you never even dreamed of. And that is also something that's been on my heart lately. Um, I wanted to talk about something. Um, I've actually spoken about it before, but I haven't, like, sh like I haven't really went into detail about it or like made it the topic of the day um so before i actually get into stuff let me actually get into like a mini story time for you guys so when i was working in no before i even worked in doha when i was home after i did my aviation course um the people that i went to the training with um all got called to go like the school called them and they all got jobs before i got one and at that time, I thought maybe they forgot my numbers. Maybe I gave them the wrong numbers. But I even called the school. They had my numbers. They just didn't call me for that uh, vacancy, guys. So, so much was going on through my head. I was like, why didn't they call me? I was so upset, guys. But, like, not upset as in, ah, nobody should have gotten the job. Like, but the upset, you know, like, why, were, why was everyone else called except for me? Like, these are the people I started this journey with, you know? So why were they called? I, I remember I was praying to God, asking him, I was like, God, do you want me to do this? Because why would you put this dream in my heart, put it in my mind and let like convince my mom to give me the money to go for the training and only for me not to be called, guys? Yeah, God didn't answer me at the time, guys. Like months and months went on, guys. I got a job a year after I had completed my my training like at that point everybody around me had given up on this dream for me even my mom was just like mm -mm. at this point you must just get a job bruh like mm -mm. like we've been waiting on aviation jobs nothing is coming like no you should start looking at other things guys and i was so stubborn guys i was just like mm -mm. there is no way god is going to do something he has to do something you know and eventually he did something and I got a job in Doha at Qatar Airways, and that was actually my first job in aviation. So I, I'm i just thinking to myself, and I'm like, imagine if God had answered my prayer. Imagine if God had went along with my plan. I would have been at Ora Tambo and uh, worked as ground staff. I wouldn't even have dreamed of going to Qatar Airways, guys. Like, ever i wouldn't even have went if god had went to be honest if god had went with my my plan 
I don't know where I'd be right now, you know, but God's plan, God was just like, no, you're going to sit here and wait. And I waited. <laughs> Yo, I waited, guys. I waited to a point where I was so angry. I was just like, maybe it was just me fooling myself, thinking this was for me, you know, until God was just working in the background, you know, and I'm just talking about this. And I, I just want whoever is going through something like this, whoever is doubting whatever dream god has put in their heart and um if things aren't happening the way you want them to happen it doesn't mean they aren't going to happen it means god has better for you you know um so i just wanted to share that mini testimony mini story with you because it's been on my heart so i think maybe i'm meant to share it with someone and since martin is at work you guys are my someone so yeah, um, I am Sitati Lizipa. Guys, I never even say my name on video. You guys don't even know how to pronounce my name. But my name is Sitati, not Sipati. It's Sitati. But you can call me Tati, guys. And okay, you guys are already calling me Tati. I don't know why I'm saying that. But like, yeah, <laughs> you can call me Tati. I am 29 years old. And my favorite number is still 22, guys. Ah, If you want to know the history of 22, you have to watch my my first video my get to know me video and yeah i'm a flight attendant and but like unfortunately it's been a, a bad year in aviation not even aviation alone guys it's just been a bad year since covid like since everything that had happened last year with covid things have just taken a sharp curve guys things are not going the way that we we want them to go you know, so uh, in the meantime, I'm here, I'm a YouTuber, I'm an influencer, while I wait on the Lord. And yo, guys, sometimes God will shock you, hey? Like, he will shock you. So I started my YouTube channel in 2018, and um, I remember I did say my niche was lifestyle, it was beauty, and it was fashion. And I was just saying that because those are the things that I like. And fast forward to this year, that is honestly my niche. Like, it's just unfortunate that we are only getting into the beauty part now. But like, we all have insecurities, guys. Um, We all have things that we struggle with. And for me, it was just wanting my first makeup video to be perfect. Like, I wanted the perfect products and whatnot, you know. And financially, I'm not in a place to go and just splurge on makeup items. So that's why I've just been delaying, delaying, delaying having a makeup video video on my channel so today i just woke up and i was just like screw perfection i am going to film this video with my broken palettes guys i'm very clumsy so you guys will see the products that i'm using are broken because they always fall so yeah i'm very clumsy so i was like screw perfection i am going to film this video because my subbies don't want perfection my subbies have been with me with burned pans they've been watching me with like i don't even know what to say but they've been watching me guys even before i had proper furniture in this flat they were watching you know so i was like why am i overthinking this so much so today i was like screw it i am recording this video that you guys are watching right now i don't know what it is with youtube that we all that makes us want perfection and at the end that perfection ends up becoming an excuse you know because i remember um i didn't give my all into youtube because my excuse was i want the perfect equipment i need a camera i need lighting i need this i need that and like that was just my excuse for the longest of times and my friends would be like you know you would be so far right now and i'd be like Ish, yeah, nee. but like i really wouldn't like listen to them i just brush it off you know but it this year showed me that all of that was just excuses guys <laughs> guys don't mind my palette all of that was just excuses guys because this year came and i just recorded with my phone i edited with my phone guys like natural lighting guys god gave us the sun for natural lighting so really all of that was just excuses so if you're sitting there wanting to start your youtube channel and you're thinking oh my god i need a camera you don't need a camera you need a phone you need a phone you need to wipe your back lens and you need to start recording that is all and i edit with InShot, guys guys everybody always asks me what do you edit with with InShot, guys i don't even have the iMovie and whatnot i didn't even know about those things until i was deep in it but because InShot is so easy and straight to the point i use InShot, but like 
and Twitter has a long hun. <laughs> I use InShot to edit, and yeah, um, it's literally straightforward for me. Like, um, I didn't overcomplicate my YouTube journey and my YouTube life, so it gives me what I I needed to give me at the moment. And in time, I will cross over to cameras and whatnot. And I was watching, is it Sine Gugu? I was watching her video where she was telling. Well, she was giving tips on being an influencer and she was actually saying that you need to figure out what you want from uh, your, your YouTube life, your influencer life first before you actually go and get a camera because sometimes you're going to waste money not knowing if this is for you or not, you know. So get into it, run with it, guys, and your people will find you along the way. And once you are certain that this is what you want to do, then you go into investing in cameras and whatnot because that new life that new camera life is so complicated guys i'm also dreading it like i'm going to film with my phone as for as long as i can but eventually obviously i need to up upgrade my quality and all that so i will get into that life but like if you're not a camera person having to learn all of that is going to be so hard you know so imagine now you don't know your niche and now you're struggling with cameras and, and, and. So I'm just saying, don't do that to yourself. Take your phone, wipe that lens every time you press record. Wipe, 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 wipe. And just figure out what it is you want to give to people. What message do you want to send out to people? And um, I don't know what message I'm sending out, but like, because I read my comments, I'm sorry for not like replying guys, but like, I have so much anxiety when it comes to reading the comments guys, especially since my channel is growing. There are so many mean spirited people out there that actually thrive on being mean towards people. And I don't think I'm strong enough yet for those comments, you know, so I ask people to read my comments first and if it's safe, that's when I come read them, you know, but like during this time, the, during this break from vlogs, I'm definitely going to go through all the comments and I'm going to comment back. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, my message is just joy, guys. Um, I just love that people get so much joy from watching me, from watching my, my channel because I also get so much joy from creating, guys. Like, even now, I am suffering. Like, I'm going through the most, guys. Like, I'm going through the most. Do you want to listen by the planning, guys? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I cannot do this, guys. I can't do life without you guys. It's so addictive. But yeah, guys, um, I'm so grateful for you guys. I'm so grateful for each and everyone who lands onto my channel and from for each and every one of you who lands on my channel and subscribes and interacts and follows me on instagram guys instagram is where it's at if you really want a reply from me quick quick fast fast in a hurry dm me i will definitely get back to you i think the anxiety of youtube is that we're here and everybody can see the comment if you're being mean to me people are just like what is she going to say and guys now nah, i'm not a mean person so i do not know how to reply to mean people fortunately i haven't experienced any of that you know but i'm just always waiting 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 because i know eventually it will come um i'm not saying i mind constructive criticism i do not mind construct constructive criticism because it builds you as a person but they are just people who are unhappy with themselves and they just come into people's comment sections just to be mean and jay just for the fun of it and they just get a kick of of seeing your reply and, and knowing that they upset you, you know, so I never ever want to entertain any of that, you know, I think even when I come across such, I will just delete, delete, delete. But yeah, guys, um, I'm just so grateful for each and one of each and every one of you guys. Um, this year has been, uh, it's been a year mi filled with mixed feelings. Um, I haven't been able to do what I love, which is aviation, but at the same breath, I've been able to do what I love, guys. Like, I never thought in my, like, never, ever, ever would I have imagined that I would be here on YouTube and I would be enjoying it so, so much, guys. I really enjoy vlogging. I really enjoy being here with you guys. I really enjoy growing my community, guys. Ah, I love it. And I also enjoy giving people tips when they need the tips. Uh, just DM me, guys. Just DM me on Instagram at Tati underscore 22 i will definitely give you pointers if you need that if you need any and if i'm able to help you in that regard guys guys <laughs>
Okay, I'm back guys, um, I'm back and I'm just smiling to myself and I'm just thinking about what a beautiful year it's been for me on the YouTube scene. Like, a girl with a whole management team. <laughs> Marina. <laughs> guys, like, you are no ways, God has blown me away, guys. Like, he just keeps on giving me reasons as to why I should continue with YouTube, you know, like, um, not that I have doubts, but like, because I'm overthinking things when it comes to aviation and all of that. And I'm just like, God, do you want me to go go this route? And God is just like, Mwah! Sobe. And I'm just like, okay, God, I see you are giving me Sobe partnerships. But God, are you really sure that you really want me to do YouTube? God is like, Mwah! partnerships with hair companies. I'm just like, okay, 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 God. Okay. I get that, like, I, I see what you're doing and I get that you actually want me to do this. But God, are you really, really, really sure about this YouTube life? God is like, nah, management M Tiny. <laughs> so yeah, guys, um, it's so amazing what, what happens once you decide on something. Once you I believe in God, I believe in the universe, and I believe in ancestors, you know. So that that is my tribe before everything and everyone that is my tribe that is my those are my friends that's my group of people that's my people before you guys before my tomato before my family those are the people who've got my back back you know so it's so amazing that once i decide on something and i i, I align my action i my actions towards it and i give it my all like my tribe just goes above and beyond to make to make sure that we all see it through you know and in times of of doubt in times in times of uncertainty my tribe just gives me signs like they just gives they just give me big signs as to why i should continue doing the thing that i started when i started at njianiki kalanje they just come through and they are just like we are going to give you signs as to what why you should continue and the the glimpse that i've seen assures me that um there's a lot that's going to come uh into my life and through my youtube journey through my my influencing journey and i cannot wait for it to happen and i'm so glad that god chose me and chose this platform just to show his work through me you know so if you're having doubts and 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 if you are if you're not even from a background that has money if you are from a small town called valcom if you are from uh, a, a background that is not fortunate to splurge and jay then you should continue watching because if God can do it for this girl, God is going to do it for you as well, you know. And I just want you guys to know that in your waiting, God is working, you know. And sometimes something really isn't for you, but like the the things that you learn in that thing will work when you guys, when you find your aha moment, when God directs you to where he wants you to take you or whatever higher power you believe in, when they take you to where they want to take you, you will actually realize, oh, that is actually why I had to go through one, two, three, you know? So yeah, my name is Hitati Lizipa. I am 29 years old and I'm a flight attendant, YouTuber slash influencer, creative, what, what, and you guys don't know me yet. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line, guys. You guys know me by now, but I just feel like this is just so much to come. And I just want to encourage you guys not to speak negatively about yourselves. Even if it's a joke, do not do it. Like, just always be positive. Dream big dreams for yourselves. Like, you know, there's a quote that says, if your dreams don't scare you, you're not dreaming big enough. Dream those dreams, guys. Like, just dream of yourself going overseas. Dream of yourself being a celebrity if, if that's what you want. Dream of yourself being on TV if that's what you want. And eventually those things will happen. But also put the action like back your word like god doesn't just want people who are just saying things god wants people who put action into into what they say they want to do you know so you can't just say to god hey god or whatever higher power you believe in that hey now i want to be on tv and you're actually not doing anything you're not doing anything to equip yourself if you can't actively do stuff because of finances there are ways you can research ask people who are already doing the thing that you're doing some won't answer you and some will you know but eventually things come 
together they really come together guys and as i'm speaking to you guys i'm also speaking to myself guys like i'm also um motivating myself because there are things that i want and they are so out of reach right now but i know my god i know my ancestors i know my universe and i know that in time they will come to pass um so yeah guys i know i really didn't say much about who i am <laughs> But you guys will get to see who I am by watching my videos, okay? Subscribe and watch my videos and let's go on this journey together. I'm so excited for Vlogmas, but I will explain my why for Vlogmas during Vlogmas. Right now, it was just us just getting to know each other, just catching up, guys. I know your, your end fatigue is doing the most, but hang in there, guys. Let's finish. Let's finish strong. And if you can't finish strong, finish weak. Like, rest if you need to rest, guys. Like, I couldn't need to be an overachiever and do one, two, three. If you feel like your body is saying rest, then that's your finishing strong. Like, you don't have to compare it to anybody else's finishing strong. You know how you started the year. Maybe you started the year strong and other people started the year slow. So, J, like, just end the, the year the way you want to end it, guys. Um, I really hope um, we're going to have a great festive season together, guys. I really hope God will see my plans through. <laughs> I really hope he'll see them through, guys. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave you guys here, guys. But you know, I haven't played music. <laughs> we play music, guys. Enjoy, guys. I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Bye. You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better
lift so high Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Feeling happy And moments ago I was only empty What did you slip me? My heart is racing and I'm getting dizzy There must be 
must be some complicated after effect of this. Will I wake up in your bed and regret everything I did? Like a hangover, but leave me needing one more fix. She said, Shut your mouth and kiss me. Hey, don't waste your breath, cause you know what I'm feeling. Midnight's closing in, and I won't wait for you. Don't think about it twice, we're way past second guessing. And I want you now. Just shut your mouth and kiss me. It can get lonely. Swiping left and right to meet somebody. And they won't get to know me, but that's okay. In retrospect, I'd do it over and over, cause that's just how we met. There must be some complicated after effect to this. Will I wake up in your bed and regret everything I did? Like a hangover, but leave me needing one more fix. She said, Shut your mouth and kiss me. Hey, don't waste your breath, cause you know what I'm feeling. Midnight's closing in, and I won't wait for you. Don't think about We're way past second guessing And I want you now Yeah, shut your mouth and kiss me In the parking lot, in the backseat Don't dare to stop now Just close your eyes and kiss me Like you mean it, you're a bad dream But I'm into it now I shut your mouth and but we did it guys i'm so excited like this is the first time ever during load shedding where i'm so happy <laughs> guys i'm so proud of myself for seeing this through and i'm so proud that you guys are watching me doing a makeup video like me <laughs> after so long guys i'm so proud of myself and i hope you guys are proud of me guys if you want to see more makeup videos please let me know in the comment section and i'm definitely going to do that because i've finally overcome this weird fear that i've been having so yeah guys if you made it to the end of the video thank you so so much and if you enjoyed it comment section um subscribe like and guys share for other people to see because lebanza is in the building <laughs> lebanza lipitlibe guys I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Mm, I love this month, guys. You guys don't know what's coming. You guys are just going to be shocked and shocked and shocked. And I love this for me. So, yeah, guys, I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.